Hello, my name is Josh, and welcome to Help Desk to the Rescue. And today, what we're going to be covering is Safari for your Mac. Now, I just really wanted to quick touch on some of the key settings here in Safari that I have uh, configured for myself and just kind of why I have those configured that way. So the first thing I want to start off with is by opening up your Safari application. And at the very top left-hand corner, we're going to select Safari, and we're going to select Preferences. Now, the very first tab, uh, if you were to load this up for the first time, your new window is going to start with favorites. I like to make sure and start mine with the home page, so that way when I open up Safari, it brings me right to the page instead of a, a blank screen. Uh, new tabs, I don't mind opening with my favorites. My home page, I set to YouTube. Uh, you can set it to whatever you'd like, or if you go to the page, you can hit set to current page, and it's going to give you uh, that page that you are on right here in this home page address. That's really it on the general side that I like to look at. Uh, tabs I leave defaulted. I won't touch anything there. Autofill. I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of Apple's autofill. Um, as you guys can see here, I use it for everything. Uh, passwords. I also uh, have my password protection on. Or protection. Uh, my autofill on. Um, and once again, you can turn that off by selecting autofill off uh, or unchecking the box. Search, I use Google, I haven't changed that. Uh, I left it all the default. Security wise, I allow plugins, I allow JavaScript, um, and I allow WebGL. And you can look at your plugin settings. As you can see here, these are the plugins that I carry on my browser. You can adjust those, you can, add, you can, you can actually stop them from without even removing them. If I did not want the Citrix receiver to run, I could go in and I can hit always allow um, or ask, block, so on and so forth. Pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to click done. Next, privacy. You know, I like to have my cookies for the websites that I visit. You know, here's where you can remove all your website data, clear your history, do all sorts of uh, things. So I click that. You can hit remove now. I'm not going to do that. Uh, notifications. I like to have my notifications set to on. Um, as you can see here, I don't use a lot of notifications, but uh, this is where you can manage them. Extensions. I do not have any extensions. Um, you can download extensions if you were to hit this Get Extensions button here, and it will take you to uh, the Apple web page to where you can download these Safari extensions. Same as Chrome. Uh, back to Preferences here. Um, and then Advanced. I really I, I like to have show full website address on. I don't know why that was off, but I like to have that on. Keep everything else pretty selected and standard. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you uh, here in Safari is if you click Safari and you go to clear history, this is where you're going to be able to remove your cookies and your website data uh, at a more granular, uh, either today, today and yesterday, last hour, or all history altogether. Whereas the preferences, it just gives you the all history option. So I'm going to hit today and yesterday. I'm going to hit clear history. And that is it. My history now from yesterday and today is gone. 